Hello, my name is Rex Smallboy. I am a hip hop artist and music producer. I uh, am from Muscochese, Alberta, but I uh, live in Vancouver, BC. I was asked to speak on uh, SODI and my experience with the um, Restore Pride project. Um, a few years back, I think it was about uh, 2009, I was asked to help out in the production of, of a uh, youth hip hop album to help to prevent uh, diabetes. My late mom had uh, passed away from diabetes and um, it was really kind of um, a difficult subject for me. Um, but working with uh, Sodi and the youth, it, you know, it was it was an incredible experience, and um, <clears throat> I'm very honored to have had the opportunity to to work on on a on a project that, that uh, was was unheard of at the time, and um, I want to speak about um, where I am now. Um, a few years after that, I found out that uh, I was type 2 diabetic and um, I had uh, not understood at a personal level um, at the point of the project um, what needed to be done. Um, now that I have um, unfortunately have experience with diabetes myself, um, I could see the potential and in, in, in you know the, the scope of such a project um, that you know it, it, it could have helped me to um, you know to um, wake up before it was too late. Um, one of the hardest things about um, that I've learned is um, it is so much um, more in depth than just prevention. Um, I've come to understand that it really reaches out into like intergenerational trauma. Um, and self love, self care. Um, I realized that, you know, in my life, I wasn't taking good care of myself because I was something that I never really saw modeled, you know, in my childhood. And um, that has been one of the biggest struggles to try and overcome the challenges of living with diabetes. Um, never grew up watching people eat healthy and uh, trying to incorporate healthy food into my diet has been a challenge. Um, but valuing myself enough to eat healthy has been a challenge. And so um, I had wish, um, I wish that I had uh, the uh, understanding that I have now uh, back then, sitting down to work on this project, uh, on, on a project about preventing diabetes, because uh, um, there's nothing like the experience. And um, I tend to, I, I intend to write um, a song about just that. And uh, Sodi has been, you know, such a positive role model and I'm thankful that um, the organization and their store project, the Restore Pride project is there because this is such a crucial uh, um, need in our community because we have become accustomed to eating so much crap and um, because of intergenerational trauma it is so challenging to love and care for yourself and so I think um, all art, art forms could benefit from a project like Restore Pride. You know, as much um, prevention 
material that you can get out there, the more understanding that you can create um, to help people, to help themselves is of such importance. And the crazy thing is when it comes to traditional food, <laughs> it's like, that's the answer. And it's, it's, uh, it's funny that, you know, as indigenous people, we're turning back to eating food that, you know, was part of our culture and part of our nature is the answer to um, good health and uh, decolonization. And so I fully recommend, you know, projects like Sodi and projects like Restore Pride, I think, um, things like that is, is going to help us to get into a better place um, for generations to come. Thank you for asking me to speak and um, nothing but grateful for my experience that I had out there with Sodi. Thank you.